Unless you've been living under a rock on the far side of the moon, you will likely have heard of Oumuamua, the bizarre interstellar object that paid a brief visit to our solar system in September 2017. However, it was not the only mysterious object which has been discovered, as it looks like a cousin of Oumuamua came right behind it and left everyone in shock. Scientists and researchers are working to find the origin of these creepy objects, and they believe that they are coming from an alien solar system. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about another weird object comparable to Oumuamua detected by NASA. The origin and identity of a massive space object that careened past Earth in 2017 have remained a mystery. The object, called Oumuamua, which is a Hawaiian name meaning scout or messenger, has traveled on a trajectory that strongly suggested it came from another star system, and that made it the first interstellar object ever detected. A few researchers, including Harvard University astronomer Avi Loeb, posited the object was an alien spacecraft. However, others suggested it was an asteroid or perhaps an interstellar comet. Now, a pair of papers published in the American Geophysical Union Journal offers another theory that Oumuamua was shrapnel from a tiny planet in a different solar system. According to Stephen Desch, an astrophysicist at Arizona State University, a co-author of the new study who said in a press release, We've probably resolved the mystery of what Oumuamua is, and we can reasonably identify it as a chunk of an exopluto, a Pluto-like planet in another solar system. But by the time astronomers became aware of Oumuamua's existence in 2017, it was already zipping away from Earth at 196 miles per hour. So, they had only a few weeks to study the strange skyscraper-sized object. Several telescopes on the ground and one in space took limited observations as the object flew away, but astronomers were unable to examine it in full. Scientists have revealed that Oumuamua's spin, speed, and trajectory couldn't be explained by gravity alone, which suggested it was not an asteroid either. And talking about the object's shape and profile, it's about one quarter of a mile long but only 114 feet wide, which clearly doesn't match that of any comet or asteroid observed before. In addition, according to the authors of the new study, however, Oumuamua's frozen nitrogen composition could explain that shape. As the outer layers of nitrogen ice evaporated, the shape of the body would have become progressively more flattened, just like a bar of soap does as the outer layers get rubbed off through use, said Alan Jackson, another study co-author. Furthermore, unlike most space rocks, Oumuamua seemed to be accelerating rather than slowing down in telescope observations. That is in part why Loeb thinks Oumuamua was an alien spacecraft. Now let's talk about the twin of Oumuamua, which passed by Earth recently. Interestingly, Amateur researchers have said that there's several of these mysterious objects flying around our solar system, and one was recently found by someone who was using Google Sky. The individual who found it said this stood out to them because it looked very similar to Oumuamua, saying that they were able to take a screenshot and carry out further tests. In addition, they revealed that the object in question measures over 1,400 meters or 4,590 feet in length. Those who saw the image said that it looked very similar to Oumuamua, suggesting that the two may be the same thing. Although scientists have said that these objects are like asteroids, others are not so sure and have put forward more theories. One of the reasons why they did this was because it didn't act like a typical space object, with researchers like Avi Loeb saying that this could indicate that it's something entirely different. The first theory that was performed was that it was an asteroid. 
the scientists looked to the size of the object, which was 2,600 feet or 800 meters long, and around 260 feet or 80 meters wide. However, it was reported that astronomers stated that the object was not moving strangely. So they put up on the fact that Oumuamua showed a really strong non-gravitational acceleration. And this tells the researchers that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing dictating its path. After that, many people also put forward their theories, one of which is that this object is extraterrestrial in nature. The fact that it moves like nothing researchers have seen before, which indicates that it's under intelligent control. On the other hand, most scientists suggested that Oumuamua was something natural and that its acceleration was due to natural phenomenon. The next idea was that this mysterious object was releasing a large amount of hydrogen, and this was causing it to speed up. Interestingly though, not everyone has agreed with this theory. Therefore, going back, a new paper was published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, an astrophysicist at the Career Astronomy and Space Science has stated that they don't think the hydrogen idea holds up and that it wouldn't work in space. Furthermore, there are many strange properties about this object which the researchers cannot explain. For example, the way it mimics a comet but yet it didn't have a title. Also, NASA themselves reported that the interstellar visitor is 10 times as long and that this aspect ratio is far greater than any asteroid or comet. Using observations from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories, an international team of scientists have confirmed Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object to travel through our solar system, got an unexpected boost in speed and shift in trajectory as it passed through the inner solar system last year. Our high precision measurements of Oumuamua's position revealed that there was something affecting its motion other than the gravitational forces of the sun and planets, said Marco Michele of ESA's or European Space Agency Space Situational Awareness Near Earth Object Coordination Center in Freschetti, Italy, and lead author of a paper describing the team's findings. With that, we have come to the end of our video. Do you think Oumuamua and other objects like it are normal interstellar objects, or are they a part of some alien tech? What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.